Dear students, today we are going to do a lesson from the English textbook of class 12. The name of the book is Flamingo. And the lesson that we are going to do is The Rat Trap by Selma Leatherloff. This story is about a peddler. The theme of the story is Essential goodness in a human being can be awakened through understanding and love. Everybody has the good, that goodness in him and that goodness can be awakened through kind treatment, through love and through compassion. Now this is to, uh, first of all let us understand the meaning of the word la, rat trap. Rat trap is a device with the help of which we catch, we trap the rats. Now when we want to trap a rat, we first put some a piece of cheese or bread inside the trap and leave it open. As soon as the rat touches the bait, touches that piece of bread or cheese, the rat trap closes on him. So in this lesson, the word rat trap has been used as a metaphor. That is, the world has been called as a rat trap. The people of the world are rats and the world itself is a rat trap. Riches and wealth and money is considered as the bait, the food, just as in the rat trap. Cheese and bread attracts the rat in the same way in the rat trap of the world, riches and wealth attract human beings. The moment anybody gets attracted or tempted towards that, he is trapped into the rat trap of the of greed, into the greed. Now, about the story, the story is entertaining because the reference of rat trap, there is reference of rat trap in different ways. The word rat trap has been used as a metaphor that is for comparison. The world has been compared to a rat trap. Forest has been compared to a rat trap in the story. Then there is a carriage also referred to or compared with a rat trap. Now, the story is philosophical also. It is entertaining and philosophical. Entertaining because the word rat trap is used as a metaphor and philosophical because of the theme, the idea behind the story. The idea behind the story is that kind treatment can change a person. So in this way the story is both entertaining and philosophical. Now let's come to the story. It is a story of a peddler. Who is a peddler? A wanderer who just roams around aimlessly, keeps on going from here to there. No purpose, so aimlessly wandering around. The peddler in the story is called by different names like he is called as a vagabond, sometimes as a, as a tramp, sometimes as a ragamuffin. This peddler is a poor, hungry person roaming around the whole day without any aim. He is lonely, he is in his rags that is worn out clothes. And he is moving around with a bunch of rat traps dangling around his chest. So what he does is he sells rat traps in order to make a living. But hardly anybody buys rat traps from him. So he resorts to stealing and begging to make his body and soul together. That is for a living. For survival he also resorts to stealing and begging. So what does he do? He sells rat traps but hardly any business. Then he resorts to stealing and begging. Now this rat trap seller, that is peddler, one day when he was walking around, a very strange thought came to his mind that this world is also like a rat trap. So the idea that the world is a rat trap gave him joy, gave him pleasure because he was not welcomed by anybody. Nobody was his friend. He was lonely. The people of the world avoided him. 
so when he thought of the world like a, uh, that the world is a rat trap he enjoyed this idea so now he thought that just as the rat trap catches rats bait in the rat trap is the cheese and the bread are the bait and the rats get attracted and that the moment they touch this bait they are caught in the same way human beings when they get attracted towards the world's riches and wealth the moment they are tempted they get trapped in the greed of the riches and wealth then this rat trap seller while he was going it was evening it became dark and he needed shelter for the night so he went to a cottage and that cottage was belongs to a crofter he knocked at the door but without any hope because he knew that the moment anybody saw him they closed the doors on him so he thought that there nobody will welcome him in this cottage also but there was a crofter who opened the door and he very kindly welcomed him in this crofter was an old man and he had no wife and children he was lonely he wanted company he needed company so he welcomed him he served him food generously he talked to him a lot and he even played cards with him after that while talking to him he told him that he used to work in the ramsho iron mills but now he is old he cannot work so he has a cow which is which gives a lot of milk and this helps him to earn money the cow helps him to earn money because the milk that he gets from the cow he supplies to the dairy and he even showed him those 30 kroners that he had earned he had kept the three 10 kroner notes 30 kroners in a pouch and hung it in the window pane so he went up to the window pane he uh, took the pouch from there and he opened it up and showed him those three 10 kroner bills why did he show those three 10 kroner bills to make him believe that this much money he has earned through his cow now after that they went off to sleep early in the morning the crofter got up and at the same time the peddler also got up both of them got ready and they went to their own uh, towards their own directions now the crofter locked his room and uh, the peddler also went away but while the peddler was going he thought of that money in the uh, money pouch that the crofter had hung again the window pane so this peddler came back he climbed up to the window broke the window pane broke the glass of the window and he removed that pouch took out those three 10 krona notes he took out the crofter's money and hung the pouch again over there and he went away now while he was going he avoided to go on the main road because he would be caught he had the fear of the police so he went through the forest he took his way through the forest but when he went to the forest he got lost and he did not get any way out and a lot of time passed and it became evening and it became dark now he was tired he was hungry and he was now thinking that he got, he himself is caught in the rat trap so the forest for him was the rat trap now now he had no hope he was thinking what to do suddenly he heard the sound of thumping with the hammer he thought that there was a, he realized that there was an iron vein nearby so he got some hope he started walking towards that direction and he saw that there was an iron mill the work was going on and it was raining he got wet so he just opened the door the gate of the iron mill and went inside and there was a big furnace in which the iron was being melted he went and stood close to it suddenly the iron uh, the blacksmith and his uh, assistant they just saw him they looked at him and again got busy in their work because they were used to the coming of such peddlers to their mill for shelter in the night so they thought that this was another peddler who had come to take shelter in the night so just had a look at him and then they got busy in his in their work now uh, when the crofter uh, this uh, peddler was standing over there that time the iron master who was the owner of the iron mill he came 
he was a very prominent iron master and he used to make it sure that he supplied good quality of iron so he used to make his rounds to the mill during the day and during the night now at this moment this iron master came for his nightly supervision and he saw this man in his rags standing close to the furnace he just went close and he just saw looked at him and he he thought that it was his old colleague he he, he made a mistake in recognizing him and he just told him you nilsulof how come you are here think that at this the uh, croft uh, this uh, the peddler rather than saying that he was not the nilsulof or not his uh, old friend or a, uh, any old captain but he just kept quiet and he said things have gone down with me now at this this iron master he told him that if i had been there i would never have allowed you to leave the job no the iron master uh, iron master wanted him to come to his home he wanted to serve him good food he wanted to help him and so he invited him to his home but the peddler said no and no and no why because the peddler he knew that he was not his friend and the iron master had a, had made a mistake but the iron master wanted him to come to his place now when the peddler did not agree the iron master went back now he sent his daughter edla wilson son in order to persuade the peddler to come to his